I had this pain in my feet. It started in my feet and it was so intense. It felt like excruciating just to even like stand on them. I had this fatigue where I was so tired. It was like work just to talk. All of a sudden my brain started being affected where it was hard to read and write. It was hard to carry conversations. The pain in my legs was so bad that it felt like a blowtorch was touching them if a bed sheet touched them. And so I laid in this contraption and it held my feet up. Marin Ham from Wisconsin was only nine years old when she contracted the swine flu. Not long after, mysterious symptoms plagued her body and mind until she was no longer able to walk. Doctors were puzzled by her case and gave her a list of diagnoses, including small fiber neuropathy and postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. As a little girl, Marin would spend the next several years in and out of hospitals and rehab centers. We went to hospitals and they didn't know what was going on and we went through like intense physical therapy. They were saying they were trying to desensitize my nerve endings so that they wouldn't be so sensitive for pain. And so they would like wrap my feet super tight with wraps and stand me up on this table that they had me strapped to and all these things and it was miserable. You know, she became less and less mobile as it came up her legs. And you know, for a while there, she, you couldn't even touch her. I mean, you couldn't even touch her skin with a feather. It was so difficult to watch. I, you know, I would have changed places with her in a moment to not see her suffer. Test after test, constantly going to doctors, that's all I did. I would either be in a dark room or I was at a doctor's appointment. Doctors were puzzled by it. They really had no idea what was going on. I would have friends over and Mary would have a seizure. Everyone runs to her room to help her and then, okay, it's over likely. And that was just like our new reality. Lacking a deep knowledge of God's Word, the Ham family spent the next several years coping with this new reality of medical treatments and rehab centers, hoping that doctors could somehow find a cure. When her symptoms turned for the worst, Marin was diagnosed with late-stage Lyme disease, which most people never recover from, causing her mother, Lene, to reach a breaking point. You know, my faith was in the medical doctors, and, I, and I, we weren't getting any help. I came to the end of myself and I just surrendered to God and I just said, please show me a sign, give me a direction, something to help heal Marin, to heal our family. Lene came across the Hansa Center for Optimum Health, where God used Christian doctors to open their hearts to God's power. The Lord showed me now, I think that's like my John the Baptist, because it totally prepared the way for me. The doctor there, he was spirit-filled. He didn't really know anything about healing, but he just started sharing God's love with me, just speaking the word to me. So it really opened my mind that way. And then also physically, I got well enough where my cognitive ability came back so I could read and write. I could carry conversations again. Our last appointment, the doctor kind of had this look on his face, like, I don't really think there's anything more I could do for you. And I just turned to my mom and I'm like, Mom, I just want to go and just try to do something fun. I have been so sick and I'm so sick of being sick. And I just want to do something fun and just enjoy the mountains, even if I just sit in my wheelchair and look at them. I just want to go to Colorado. Although Marin was still in pain and wheelchair bound, Lene booked a cabin in, of all places, the small town of Woodland Park. When they arrived, they struck up a conversation with a receptionist that would change their lives forever. I told her what was going on with Marin and why she was in a mobile scooter. And she said, well, you know, uh, there's a healing school right down the road. It's at Karis Bible College. She goes, I really think you should go. I said, well, okay. <laughs> Just from coming through the doors at Karis and just the people that greeted us and just seeing the love that they had. And it was just like I could just see God's love for me through these people. We went into the service and Greg Moore, he was speaking that day. I'm stepping into what belongs to me. Whether I feel like it, whether I think it, whether, I, whether it looks like it, it doesn't matter. You said it. I'm stepping into it and, it, and I'm just walking in what you have for me. 
And I'm telling you, you do that, and, it, and, and healing starts manifesting. He started sharing that God wants you well and that Jesus provided it for you. This was just so exciting to hear this for the first time in my life. We left there and just like thinking on this word that we just heard and we're like, we can't leave. And we started looking up on the website and we're like, who is this Andrew Womack? <laughs> and we're like, he's actually going to be speaking on Tuesday. And so we're like, well, we're going to stay. But if you could ever understand that you have the same power on the inside of you that raised Jesus from the dead, as Jesus is, so are you, 1 John 4, 17. Not so are you going to be, so are you right now. I saw myself just running and dancing and just riding my horse through these pastures and just living this in my mind. The next day, we packed up the car and we stopped at a national forest before we left to go back home. There was a, a wood kind of picket fence and I said, you know, let's take some pictures here. So I parked and I got her out and set her on the fence. And all of a sudden I'm sitting there and just this like boldness rose up on the inside of me. I don't know how to explain it, but just this prompting, like stand up and walk. And I hear her just saying, mom, mom. And I turn back and then I realized she was standing. And in that moment, the ability to feel my body was came back. The ability to know how to move my feet instantly came back. And I just started walking and I didn't pass out. I didn't have a seizure. It was just this feeling of absolute freedom. Just who the sun sets free is free indeed. And man, that was just, it was incredible. I wasn't walking in my total healing that day, but I mean, that was just miraculous. They were home and I pulled in the driveway from work and here's Marin and she's standing there next to her, her walker and she just started doing her one little step at a time and I, hit the brakes and I jumped out of the car and ran up to her, gave her a big hug. It was awesome. Although Marin still needed assistance when walking, she was determined to get her full healing and spent the next 30 days diving into Andrew's teachings and meditating on the word constantly. It wasn't like I was seeking a healing. I was just seeking the healer and just getting to know him in his heart for me. She would minister to us all the time. And pretty soon it was like, okay, we're listening every Tuesday night uh, to Andrew's live broadcast. And it was awesome. And, you know, we started doing it as a family. And then it was exactly a month later, November the 16th, and I was sitting in our basement with my back up against the couch and I was reading Andrew's Christian Survival Kit. And it was, I read 1 Peter 2, 24, and it just became so personal. And it was, Marin, by Jesus' stripes, you were healed. And when I read that, it was just like it got downloaded to me. And I just, all these things for the past month that I'd just been getting to know God in His heart for me and His plan and all these things that I had heard, it was like it just all made sense. And I'm like, I'm not trying to get healing. It's living on the inside of me. So I jumped up and I took my first step instantly. Every symptom that I had instantly left me that I'd had for so many years. And then the second step, all the symptoms came back, but it didn't matter to me because his word was true. And I kept running to go tell my mom and by the third step, everything left me. I was totally, totally healed in that moment. We went out to Colorado and we found this little cabin in Woodland Park. We, the, my mom was getting my scooter out of the car and the lady came up and she's like, there's a healing school like right down the streets open to the public on Thursdays and you can go so we went I heard Andrew's teachings got a hold of that and by the end of the week I was walking and a month later I was reading his Christian survival kit and I just knew that I had healing in Jesus and he paid for it and I took what was mine and I've been completely healed ever since so praise the Lord After having their lives completely transformed, the Hams moved to Woodland Park to attend Karis Bible College, which God used to restore the years the enemy had stolen. Going from laying in a bed for so many years, doing absolutely nothing, to living this absolutely just abundant life, just every day, just full of joy. 
and we do a lot of hiking out here. There's so many parks and trails to go on. And it's like we can just be a normal family. We can go out for dinner as a family. And it's just been great to just get back to being so-called normal. But it's better than that. It's like we enjoy being together now. The enemy definitely came to just steal, kill, and destroy every single thing in our family. And he worked hard to do it, you know. But it was cool because at the end of the day, you know, we have the victory. Today... Lene works in Andrew Womack's Communication Services Department, where she shares with others the truth that changed her family. As for Marin, when she's not busy with school or her work at the local bakery, she serves at Healing School, the place that made all of this possible thanks to the support of our friends and partners. The only reason that I'm sitting before you totally healed is because you've sewed into that ministry. You know, God led us right to Karis Healing School. If it weren't for partners, that healing school wouldn't exist today. From the bottom of my heart, I just can't say thank you enough because that's what makes this all possible. <laughs>